today we are going to talk about a naturally occurring phenomenon which is due to total internal reflection. This phenomenon is called <coughs> the Mirage, Meg Marijka or Sara. This uh, occurs during the hot days in the deserts as also these days on the roads when we travel from one point to another point. It appears to us there is an illusion that there is something which is reflecting back the sky as if the sky has fallen on the ground and that gives us a psychological feeling that there must be some water and that is why it is called Mrik Marijika because the Mrik or the deer uh, used to run from point to point in search of water and will ultimately at times will die. <clears throat> so this is due to a phenomenon which is called total internal reflection which I have dealt in in my previous lecture number 169, lesson 169, which will appear uh, for you if you are interested more in that. <clears throat> Total internal re reflection occurs when the light starts in an optically denser medium and goes towards an optically rarer medium. <clears throat> now, the, if we are at the ground level and it's hot, then the air over there is hot. The concentration of air over there is more and as we go up and up and up and up and up, there is a, a gradient and there is a regular fall of refractive index and therefore a fall of the medium. The medium goes on becoming rarer and rarer. So what happens <coughs> if a ray of light is coming to us, then it is reflected and thereafter it goes undergoes total internal reflection. It appears to us as if because our eyes are able to perceive only straight lines so it appears that there is an image and as we move forward so the image also moves forward and we are not able to obtain that spot this is called the phenomenon of uh, total internal reflection and in nature this is known as the mirage the mirik marichika in hindi and sanskrit and Sarab in Urdu and Persian. So the physics is very simple, it appears there. It is only because of the total internal reflection, layer by layer, every layer. And then comes a layer where the angle of incidence is more than the critical angle of the two uh, layers, uh, two transparent layers. And therefore, we are able to see normally the sky, but at times also the images of the objects like trees, etc., they appear to us, and that leads to this phenomenon. Thank you very much.